So the IGN review is in, and they had the following to say, man. They rate NBA 2K23 a 6, saying NBA 2K23's on-court improvement should have led it to an easy layup, but the ever-present nuisance of pay-to-win microtransactions make it a much harder game to enjoy and uh you know a lot of people doubled down they were hitting me with this on uh twitter because somebody asked you know well, they wanted to know how much vc does it take to get to 99 and uh this is what we ended up with depending on your beer obviously it says it takes 457,000 vc to get to 99 in nba 2k um as opposed to 370,000 last year uh, and that's about yeah that's about what it was last year to get there i told y'all this is one of the more vc intensive games that's why we will be doing vc giveaways all year it's also why i told y'all not to make one of those uh make one of those bills or what do you call them one of the uh replica bills unless it's something that you're going to just have fun with uh, i don't want y'all to make one of those bills think it's good and waste your money on it because like i said this is one of the more vc intensive games however i do think they should have gotten more than a six but if it just depends on what's important to you man because uh the boy cold man he put up there and he said nba 2k 23 is better than 2k 17 and a lot of people saying no nah. he said he rim runs blah 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 one person said no baby but hey i don't care what they say because i'm having fun with it i agree with you colder man tell them boys what's on your mind let them know what's happening but anyway before we get started on the video man make sure y'all like the video and comment below because again i will be giving away fifty dollars worth of vc today we're gonna do it live on stream and we will be doing vc giveaways all year long all y'all got to do is support it. Somebody recommended that I do two VC giveaways, you know, maybe one for each system or what have you. And that's something that I'm definitely going to look into if y'all continue to support this. The videos have to get the views, though. I can't be going to the poor. I'm already going to the poor house with the VC. I can't be going to the poor house financing y'all's VC. So, so if I'm going to be y'all VC's fin financier, can y'all at least like the video and comment and do all the free stuff, share the video, and let's help us get to that oh so coveted 100K. Because every time you like the video, it helps us get closer to that oh so coveted 100K. And without further ado, let's get this video underway. So the boy Uncle Demi known for sending us in a frenzy. Bars to tweet the tweet to send you in a frenzy. That boy said this game, this is a really good sign. And uh, he put out a, a thing asking what console people play on. And uh, a lot of people saying that they play on new gen. Power also says, Power also said the exact same thing. He says that uh, you know, uh Friday, Friday, what game are you guys uh liking better? And people are saying they like next gen better. So this might be the year that next gen really really goes into the next gen because i think that a lot of people thought well shoot if everything on next gen is just it's the same thing that's on current gen then people go why what's the purpose of going to next gen nah nah brother it's counterintuitive if everything is the same and all things are equal why don't we just go play the better version of the game so i think that backfired on a lot of people so, uh, and and because there's no real difference in the game we got adrenaline bars in both games we got the, uh, the only thing that's different are uh, the builders the same builder in both games more or less the only thing that's different is adrenaline bars and then they're on the goat boat instead of here but i haven't really heard anybody saying that they're gonna go back to the goat boat or that's what they rocking with so hey it is it is um it is what it is. But that ain't what y'all here for because the boy Post Drew sent the community into a frenzy of his own. He says, I will wager anybody in the community on NBA 2K23 next gen. And the IQ contains says, of course you will. Let's see. Let's see if you have the same confidence when uh, contested post hooks get nerfed. And then uh, and Joe knows saying, hey, bro, if you scared, say you scared. And so he doubled down on that. And he just said, tomorrow afternoon, I will be showing you guys how truly broken NBA 2K23 is. And then this is what he came with. He had the, the he says, this is a 5 7 65 overall post score dominating on twos. Let's watch. I think it's fair to say post hooks are broken. And a lot of people will probably think, look, he's just throwing them things, bro. You can't do nothing about it. I. And a lot of people are probably thinking, why would he do this? Let me tell you something, man. When you're really good at something and you make your name and your bones off something and other people are coming along and they're doing it for free, it kind of messes with your brand and your money and makes it seem like you're a fraud. Like he po he say, I do, po I do this post stuff every single year. This is what I do. I am post Drew. This is, this is, this is what, this is what I do. I'm, I'm that guy. 
and a lot of people are able to come along and just do what he does like that does mess with your brand a little bit man just like a lot of people were shooting last year and it was messing with their brand so now they're happy that shooting is a little bit harder and uh you know they get to stand out a little bit more more or less you can't stand out if everybody is doing what you can do and they're doing it at the rate you can do it and i think mike wong must have saw that man and he just said listen bro post shots Slash post hooks are currently immune to contest. So that's that's what we saw. We saw that because the boy Gambit had a 65% contest dude still was excellent in it. 35, 45s, it didn't matter. It didn't matter. And a lot of people were trying to say, uh, a lot of people were trying to say, eh, eh, they in my comments, eh, they need to change, they don't need to change it. You got us, you're going against a 7-3. And bro, Gambit was 6-15, and them other guys were 6-4, 6, six I mean 6 nine and six stuck, and, and they, he was much taller than them. He got 99 interior defense on a 99 block, and he couldn't get a contest. If he couldn't get a contest, then the contest could not be gotten. So all those stats that y'all, y'all love saying that other stuff. Y'all don't got no interior. No, no, no. It was just broken. So shut the f up. Shut the f up. All right. It was just broken and you was getting by on the gimmick. Anyway, Mike says post hooks were immune to contest. This will be hot fix tomorrow morning. The other bug where post hooks can green without releasing the stick is known and still being investigated. Tomorrow's fix will keep hooks in check until we address it. And then you got your boy Joe knows, just know. <laughs> Post scores realizing it's over. Bro, why y'all be photoshopping stuff like this, man? Hey, that boy Whirly Turtle. My boy Whirly say, we love you, Mike Wall. And then so somebody, and, and he wanted to make sure he came back and clarify. There was no hot fix. Nothing on the gameplay side has changed at all. And this is what people were asking. Hey, do you know, Whites is starting to fall and, and people starting to make shots and, and stuff like that. You know, uh, did anything change? He's like, that was, bro, ain't nothing, ain't nothing changed, bro. Nothing changed. Everything's the same. You're just getting better at the game. You're starting to hit more shots. You're starting to see people hit more shots. And all that means is that there's a progression and you're being great and you feel the gratification. Dang, did I just get better overnight or did something change? No, you got better because you have adjusted. You have lost your muscle memory from NBA 2K22 where everything was instant and now you're adapting. This is what happens when there's a skill gap in a game and you're starting to feel better about yourself. And now you can do things that other people can't do. They're missing your hitting. This is what the community was talking about. And this is a good thing. The boy post hooking, he was not, hey, hey, Tacito had tweeted that and post hooking tried to cash out real quick. I got a kind of on my wrist, girl, I'm cashing out. Hey, this joke is saying, if you beat me tonight, this time I will fully lead the community. $5,000 wager, man. That boy, my, that boy Frasino said, Mike Wong's tweet really got you got you panicking, huh? Dude, really trying to cash out that boy. I kind of on my wrist, girl, I'm cashing out. I can't get mad at it though, man, because like we said, I know a lot of people, I know a lot of people really thought that they, I, I don't think anybody thought they was nice, but I'm glad that somebody that is a post hooker, two people that's post hooker, post hookers, they came out and just showed that the thing was broken and, uh, you know, you just immune to contest. So while it did take skill that you had to green it, it just, you should never have been able to green it when you're right there, when somebody's right there in your face. That's about it. And uh, so Tim 2K, uh, 2K. 23 leaks and intel says people are saying shooting is buff. I just went over that bro. Shooting is not buffed It's the same shooting. It's, it's hard and you get better and when you get better you feel better about yourself It's the same thing Mike said nothing changed. I did feel like I was getting more lates and stuff like that I did feel like I did need to be more precise and all of that good stuff But once I, I, I changed to that I put y'all on that harden that I changed y'all uh, changed to and my last jump shot video that Clyde Drexler man I've been money. I went from like 29% to like 41% in a day because I'm just getting better at the game You shouldn't have any shame in not being good at a game that came out like four days ago for most people some people been playing it forever y'all just started playing it just now so it just came out let's give it some time the boy cash nasty came out hey your boy said i don't mind the shooting in nba 2k 20 i mean nba 2k it takes time and skill to hit greens consistently it definitely does it doesn't bother it doesn't bother us gamers but imagine you coming home from a nine to five and barely have any time to play 2k and you go online and you can't hit a green I wouldn't even pick the game up again. Well, Cash, since you're talking directly to me on this, 
I'm somebody that works a nine to five. Also, the boy Jairus Twin, he right there said, I work a nine to five, keep that shooting gap. Hey, so, hey, I work a nine to five, and that's why it took me a little longer to get good at this game than it did everybody else. Gambit, you see that boy that's on that realm, Gambit? He work a nine to five. That boy right there, Brutus, sim on the scene, wicked and me, probably the best guard in the community right now. He work a nine to five. All three of us work a nine to five, and that's being generous. We probably work... I know I work 50, 60 hours plus every week, every week, and I can adapt. So it ain't no reason that nobody else that working nine to five, you know, can't adapt, man. Anybody that's, you know what I'm saying, you working nine to five, that ain't no excuse on this one. Cause all three of these dudes right here, like I know Gambit probably worked 60, 70, 80 hours a week. And I know I work 60 and 70 a week. And uh, Brute, you know what I'm saying, he, he, he work his job too, man. He, he work same thing, 50, 60. So, you know, it is what it is. We work a lot of hours, man. People with a nine to five, it ain't no, it's not a big deal to us. Uh, also, up next, he, and then he also said, he says, I get it's good from a content creators like myself um, to keep the game competitive. I mean, more, more of, I mean, more the half of my supporters uh, that watch me because of my frustrations and rage on game. So this is a win for me, but, I'm speaking for the people in the back. Nah, you're not speaking for the people in the back. Hey, somebody said, bro, you, hey, Christopher London, Christopher London, still, he said, you just want to hit four whites with your lock. Stop. Bro, it's not hard, bro. It's not hard. It don't need to be changed. People need to be, and that, that was the whole point of last year. Like, people felt like, bro, I spent a lot of time on this game, and somebody that plays this game one hour a week is a top guard. Like, people didn't like that, so that's, that's where we at. The boy at Laker fan said, the people complaining about paint D, I'd love to know what your interior defense ratings are exactly because I'm out here with a 6'9 with 80 interior just playing hands up and MFs are getting, uh, getting countless 40 plus contests. Even my teammate 6'1 guard with 25 is getting occasional 14s and making people miss. And all three of us out there, we got 60 plus. Um, I think I got 85 interior defense on my guard and, and people missing inside. So I don't know what these guys are doing. I think people just want to not put something on those attributes and think that it's going to stop people. But that's not going to be the case this year. You have to put the attributes on and you got to have good positioning and you got to stop that bullshit ass stuff where you just reaching and flailing and just trying to hope that you get something bro because it's not gonna work you gotta be disciplined you gotta play the game and you just gotta be you know what i'm saying you gotta do your thing man hey up next we got the community clips man that boy dime work that boy dime work what he said boy he said hey we got the i got i just made my rebirth and it's a 16 playmaking shot creator might be a tough assignment when he's done and the jumper is fast as and I can't deny it, man. Hey, man, he out there hooping. Don work known for going to the wreck by himself and hooping with randoms, man, and getting it done and all of that good stuff. Can't take nothing away from him. The boy is a tough assignment regardless. All I'm saying is if you need a six seven I'm out there with you, my guy, I'll come out there and sit that corner for you and make it a little bit little bit easier for you. Look at that boy going to the rim with the little scoop layup. That's what, hey, Uncle Demi told us that speed. Ooh, Trey Ball, yeah. Uncle Demi told us that you weren't going to really need a whole lot of speed and stuff like that this year, man. A lot of people didn't believe him, but it is what it is. That's what we get. The boy, y'all didn't mind. He says, hey, this 6'5 is OP. Got y'all a little clip right here, man. Look at that boy coming down the coat. Ooh, okay, okay, dribble in between, step back, go back, ooh, ooh, back behind the back, step out, okay, what are you about to do, cross it over, spin back, trays up, green bean, money team, splash down, all the stuff that people think you can't do, man, it's still in the game, it's just gonna take you some work, people are getting better, this is why we didn't want them to change the game. Y'all see me get on that rim. Hey, look, that's why we didn't want them to change the game because if they change the game too much, man, then we're gonna have issues where when everybody get their badges, it's gonna be tough. Back to the water. This is one of my favorite clips right here, man. We're gonna run through it real quick. This is one of those Call of Duty clips where the dude went behind him. Hey, he typed it behind you. This is like this before, before proximity chat was a thing. Hey, send him a message. Hey, you see that boy get shook? Hey, he said, what? Yeah! Hey, just hey, slicing right across the chin, boy. That thing, that thing is hilarious. Hey, look, man, this one, this right here, when I'm facing you sitting on the remote allegations. Don't y'all be wanting to do this? I know I do, man. I can't stand with people. You sitting on the remote. <laughs> That's hilarious right there. Hey, hey, shout out to this dude here, Chick-fil-A, man. Hey, only Chick-fil-A, they said is this dude was getting carjacked, and so uh, he helped the lady that was getting carjacked. Only at Chick-fil-A will they beat your 
ass and then make sure that you're okay if you're trying to call Jack. But the baby and everybody's okay, so it's all good, baby. Hey, the girl, female, uh, female dribble guard, insane lady. She say she got a dribble tutorial coming soon right here. Little dribbling moves, you know what I'm talking about? Going back and forth. Hey, listen, man. Look, look, hey, hey, with the adrenaline, the, the adrenaline, there's the spin back and the pull. I, one thing I'm telling y'all, man, I'm, gl I'm glad that people are learning different stuff because you got to learn different things in this game, man. The boy being solo. Look at this Jason getting this Jason kid on the full court. Look at skate that thing off the floor. Right. Hey, that's my guy right there, man, being solo. Hey, check it out one more time. Look at that full court bounce pass by Jason Kidd. Skated out the flow. Yes, sir. Hey, the boy Miles said, hey, man, this is one thing. We ain't going to talk too much about it. But he was like, same old thing. Well, you got, hey, look, the invisible player, bro. I don't know if that's one of them things in there looking at this BS. Mike, Mike, need to get you on that one ASAP. We got to figure out the circumstances under which that happens. And then we can get that up out of there. And last but not least, the boy Nike is in the building again. Hey, that boy said he got that, that fire all on the 10k yet again in comp stage man hey it is what it is making them boys life miserable and all that stuff man big shout out to tsf little nike man one of the funniest dudes in the game man link is in the description hey check it out though look man make sure y'all uh comment down below uh what can we comment down put put our uh, brute squad down there uh brute squad or gym stars in the comment section just put it at the end of your comment man or whatever hashtag group squad hashtag gym stars down in the comment section let me know uh where you at we're gonna be giving away the free uh fifty dollars worth of vc today we'll do it live on stream and pick somebody from the comments you better make sure you have liked and commented on every video this week so you still got time and uh we're gonna do it this evening probably about five six o'clock something like that and uh you know i will contact whoever the winner is also the bots in the comment section leave them alone that that's not me Somebody has tried to, you know, they, they just try to get, they trying to steal y'all information. They can't hack me. Uh, they haven't hacked me. The only thing they try to do is get y'all to send them information and then they're going to say, hey, you need, this is what we got. You got an iPad and a laptop and I need you to send me like 90, 90 or hundred dollars for the shipping and blah, blah, blah. So they trying to scam y'all. I'm blocking them as they happen, but I can't block them all at the same time. Just make sure y'all ignore those. That's not me. If you don't see it, say j Easy. It's not me. I promise you that. Anyway, that's all I got for y'all today, man. Hope y'all enjoyed the video and I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Chapel. Guys, speak. Guys, speak.